So this is how my shiny map quest journey went. The first place we're going is a savanna biome. There are a lot of good shinies here, like Rhyhorn, Charizard, and Pyroar. But I have my eyes on the best one, Shiny Fennekin. As an evolution line keeps going, the shiny gets better and better. Now Fennekin doesn't spawn much normally, so I got a Mass Mask Outbreak, and after searching for a while, Oh my god, wait, 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 that's a shiny, oh my god, that's a shiny, isn't it? Oh my god, oh my god, let's go! Shiny Fennekin, it looks so good! Look at that gray, it looks so amazing! With Fennekin finally done and out of the way, it's time for the... Coastal Biome. Coastal Biome is one of my favorites, and for good reason too, because there's a lot of Pokemon I love here. Like Shiny Grookey, Meowstic, and Long Zekator. I wanted Shiny Froakie. First, have you seen its evolution line? It looks pretty good. This is the first time in a while that Shiny Froakie is in the wild, so I wanted to get it. Also, for some odd reason, Greninja was not in Generation 8 at all, which was ridiculous, so it's nice to have it back. So after many hours, this happened. Wait, wait, is that shiny? Oh, I gotta save. Oh my god, I can't believe I got shiny Froki. That took way too long. It's been like six sandwiches. It's ridiculous. But I'm so happy I got shiny Froki. It looks amazing. It looks better as Greninja, though. With shiny Greninja out of the way, next up is the... The Canyon Biome. This biome also looks great, too. It has a version of Charge Stone's Cave here, which is amazing. Unova, let's go. And there are a lot of amazing Pokemon here, like Minior, Chespin, and Tyrogue. But my goal is Tepig. This shiny is okay and that's goldish yellow, but if you've seen Embor, it looks amazing. If you're liking the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe. It's one push for you and helps me so much. Thank you. So Tepig spawned a lot here, so hoping for a quick hunt. Oh my god, is that the shiny? Shiny Tepec? It only took like 7 minutes! Okay, let me let me say before I touch this thing, because it's gonna probably kill itself with some type of way. But let's go! Shiny Tepec, that was so short and very fast. One left for the biome challenge! With Shiny Tepec caught very fast, it only leaves one biome left for the biome challenge. The Polar Biome. Now this biome is cool, literally. So what am I going for here? There are a lot of options, like Lapras, Scorbunny, and Porygon. But I want Minior. Minior Shiny looks amazing. Look at it. So I want one for myself. But the one problem is in the overworld, you don't know if Shiny tell you all about it. So it's gonna take a long time to get it. It could take hours, days, months, years. But luckily, the odds were on my side. <laughs> Wait, so I'm, wait, wait, is that the shiny? Oh my god, I have to save right now. Oh my god, I think I found the shiny. Oh my god, this thing is such an amazing shiny. Please, 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 you're not crazy. Let's go! Shiny mini or I'm so happy! Now with that, the map quest is over. We got one shiny for each part of the map. So how do we do? We got Fennekin for Savannah, Froggy for the Coastal, Tepic for the Canyon, and Minior for the Polar. I should've got Chespin, but I'll leave that for next time. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and comment down below what you think I should do.